Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm gonna be doing a quick check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. It's gonna tap into the energy surrounding you, coming towards you. See what message your angels and guides have for you. Cross watchers, flip switch the energies, rolls, don't force messages. If it does not resonate, check out other placements. What is the energy surrounding Aries and what does Aries need to know? For the greatest highest good. I'm going to pull Oracle and then I will clarify the message with Tarot. So there's an illusion that has been uh, brought to light. Fool's gold, right? All that glitters. In regards to a new life, in regards to a partnership. So there was a partnership that's connecting to you that appeared to be something it wasn't there was something that you thought would be a better investment something that you thought was going to be a part of your expansion but it turned out to be fool's gold is what i'm getting through the oracle the number 16 39 one may be significant so there's something or someone that you've walked away from with the yang showing up in the reverse right this is someone that you thought you were going to have some expansion with soulmate energy but this is someone that was operating under an illusionaries. This is someone that was pretending to be someone that they were not. And you see this situation in this person clearly now. So take that as it resonates, whether it's in a partnership, whether it's in some type of a contract, right? There is something that you thought was going to bring a lot of potential, could be financial with the gold energy, earth energy, right? But it turned out to be a dud. You were connected to someone that looks good on the outside but ain't looking good on the inside is what i'm getting so i am going to do a six card spread to dive deeper into this message for you aries one more shuffle please subscribe if you've not done so hit the notification bell so you're made aware when i'm uploading content would appreciate that very much the first card will be the anchor of the message and we have five of wands in the reverse leo energy so you're coming out of competition someone puts you in competition there was someone that you thought was going to choose you there was someone that you were committed to someone that could be an aries could be a fire sign right doesn't have to be that is the energy of the five of wands right this is someone that you thought was going to be a partner a soulmate someone you were going to expand with someone that you had a you know a lot of passion for but it just didn't work out this is someone that could be struggling with addiction um this is someone that is possibly here for a good time, not a long time. This is someone that is definitely showing up as being um, interested in other people or having other options is what I'm getting with the three of cups, five of wands in the reverse, all that glitters. So this is someone that presents one way but is actually operating at a different energy or vibration. What is the challenge coming towards Aries in regards to this message? What's the challenge here, spirit? We've got ace of cups in the reverse, and then we've got four pentacles in the reverse. So letting go of love, right? You're not focused on love at this time. You're not forcing things. Five of wands can be competition. It can be trying to fit a square in a circle hole, right? It's um, trying to make something fit that does not. In regards to love, you're letting go of someone. You're letting go of a partnership. You're letting go of a potential, right? The, the yin-yang energy, right? The divine masculine, divine feminine. You are out. You're not... You feel like that isn't your destiny, that isn't your focus, right? There's something that's holding you back. There was an illusion. There was someone that was operating under an illusion and you now see that person, individual, clearly. Ace of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy could be Capricorn, right? Doesn't have to be. Those are just the energies of the card. But the challenge is new cycles of love. You're, you're not focused, you're not, or you're not, fo you're not forcing. I shouldn't say you're not focused. Because there is something that you have released or let go of, Knight of Cups. So yeah, your heart's open, Knight of Cups. There's possibly someone wanting to offer you love or affection, but you're just not interested in that right now, possibly because this person from the past had, you know, other options or, you know, alternatives or or was operating under some type of a, of a guise, right? But there, you are letting that go. So there is a letting go of an illusion, letting go of a perception or an idea that you thought was going to be part of your future Aries is what I'm getting. Show me the energy of the recent past for Aries in regards to this message. Nine of Swords in the reverse. 
So you just let go of someone's bullshit, right? Nine of Swords energy is stress, anxiety, fear, right? It's sleepless nights. It's chaotic um, thought processes in the reverse. So you stop spinning your wheels in regards to someone. You, you stop forcing is what I feel with that Nine of Swords energy. Could be air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Right, Nine of Swords in the reverse is changing perspective. It's like not letting yourself be in that lower vibration. You know, just accepting what's falling from you or away from you isn't part of your expansion, right? You're probably focused on things that are tangible. Nine of Swords energy in the reverse is good. I feel that's indicating the worst is behind you. If there was someone putting you in competition, that isn't the future. That isn't what you're wanting. That's not what you're manifesting is what I'm getting. So that nine of swords in the reverse is good. I feel that you've let go of someone that puts you in an energy that was very chaotic and caused some damage to your psyche, to your mental health could be, right? Show me the person that is connecting to Aries. Knight of Pentacles. And then we've got Seven of Wands. So we've got boundaries. You're protecting your investments. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting where you are investing your, you know, your pentacles. So that could be your money, your energy, right? Your investment of self. You're very protective of that now because you've come from a dark place, Aries. You're now in the light. You're not interested in competing. You're not interested in, in someone playing with you or playing with your heart or your resources, your finances. You're very guarded in that regard because you've learned something very valuable. Page of Swords energy. You are in the process of learning something valuable. Page of Swords. Aquarius energy, right? Page energy is learning. You're not quite mastered something, but you're doing better. Page of Swords is a much better, higher vibration than Nine of Swords. That's for sure, right? So there's definitely something you're letting go of. And there's validation that you are protecting yourself from something. What is the outcome of this message for Aries? What does Aries need to know in regards to the outcome? Ace of Pentacles, new cycle. I think your focus has been for a while, Aries, on, you know, the tangible things. There's been a, a, a learning curve in regards to where you put your, your energy. You're not giving yourself so freely any longer. That's something that you've been learning through these past cycles of being put in competition, not being honored, right? And then just realizing you're limited in the control that you have of others or even of your destiny, but you can only take care of yourself, be present in those moments with that Ace of Pentacle Earth energy, right? Could be Taurus, um, Capricorn, Virgo, bottom of the deck, the Magician. So there you are in your full authority, Magician energy, masculine, feminine, you are manifesting. So it's validating that you're moving in a new direction, that you had to disconnect and move in a new way is what I feel here, Aries. So let's see what advice the angels and guides have for you in regards to this message. What advice do you have for Aries moving forward in regards to this energy spirit? So again, I do have personal available. If you're interested, connect with me through the email provided in the description box of the video. What advice do you have for Aries? So it's validating, right? Two of Wands is Aries energy. You're changing direction. You're invested in something new. You've released something that was deceptive. You're not carrying the burden of the manipulation of the pain. Again, Seven of Cups, illusion, right? So you see someone clearly and you're being validated in the person that you saw. This is someone that you put a lot more intention in than deserved is what I'm getting. So your guides and angels are validating the perceptions that you're in right now, the way that you are seeing someone specifically in regards to a partner that you have walked away from because they are not a good investment. They are not part of your expansion is what I get here, Aries. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if it resonates. Comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate you so much. Take care, Aries. Bye.